Austin. So, why are we here? Um, we're here to help you make your home a little more comfortable um, and reduce your utility bills. Um, so that way you'll be saving money every month, um, you know, cut down your costs on energy, um, and also makes your home more comfortable throughout the year. Um, you know, protect your house from, or, or apartment from extreme weather events. Um, stay warm in the winter and stay cool in the summer. And also, if you are a homeowner or a landlord, um, Renew Boston can also help you increase the property value of your home or um, apartment building. So the energy efficiency challenge. So what are our goals um, at Renew Boston? Um, so first of all, Renew Boston is, um, we operate under the Greenovate Boston program which is the, um, you know, the umbrella program for anything green in the city of Boston. And um, we are looking to connect residents with programs that allow them to prepare for um, extreme weather events, you know, save you money, um, and just better manage our city's energy use. So as you might, as you might, uh, have realized this past winter, we got, we got a lot of extreme weather. Um, we'd have some really hot days, unseasonably hot days in December and January, um, a few record high temperatures, then followed by, you know, a couple days later, some, some really heavy snowstorms and just really unpredictable extreme weather. And it's clear that, you know, that's not, that's not normal. Um, so our homes need to be resilient. So that's what Renew Boston is here to help you make sure that your homes and your apartment buildings are resilient to any extreme weather and that you're staying safe and comfortable throughout those events. Um, and in addition to that, we're gonna help you better understand how to manage your energy use. So no one is an energy efficiency expert and that's totally fine. Um, it's, it's a really, energy efficiency can be a really hard um, topic to grasp effectively. So Renew Boston's just here to, you know, help guide you along the way, um, you know, to help you make your home more energy efficient, teach you how to read your energy bill, and just how, and just give you a better understanding about how you use energy in your day-to-day -day life. So what are the impacts of poorly managed energy systems or inefficient homes? So first and foremost, um, something that we notice right away is we have very high utility bills. Um, so a home that's not energy efficient is likely, you know, you're running your heating system a lot. Um, you have lighting and electricity, um, you know, devices that are sucking a lot of energy, uh, you know, throughout your home and your energy bills are really high. And that's, that's a byproduct of an inefficient home. Um, another byproduct of an inefficient home is you might notice a draft. So on those really cold days in the winter, um, you might notice some cold air going in and you're wondering why if you're cranking your heating system, why is your home or apartment still cold? Um, that's also something else that can come out of an, in, an inefficient home because there could be air leaks or a lack of insulation and that cold air from outside is just going right through your home and you might be running your heating system uh, to try to offset that and then you get those high energy bills that I just talked about. Um, lastly, you're seeing increased annual maintenance costs. So inefficient homes that may not necessarily be properly um, you know, set up for, to deal with the extreme weather events that we're not really used to, but we've been getting a lot over the last two winters or so. Um, you'll see increased maintenance costs. Um, you'll be having to do a lot more maintenance of your, of your home, um, repairs, having to fix leaks, um, frozen pipes, etc. So poorly managed energy systems and you know, inefficient properties, they lead to things that are gonna end up costing you um, some pretty significant sums of money. So the city of Boston is here to offer resources that are proven to reduce your monthly energy bills and most importantly help keep you comfortable and safe um, throughout the year. So in those extreme weather 
events in the winter, those really scorching um, summer days. We're here to help you stay comfortable and in the process also help you save some money along the way. So really quickly, I just want to go over a brief recap of um, what we will be talking about today. So the number one um, step is getting our no-cost home energy visit, um, which is the foundation of the Renew Boston and Mass Save program. Um, we're also going to be going over the attic, basement, and wall insulation, as well as heating system replacement um, and appliances, and also financing, which can be done through a 0% um, interest heat loan. So that's just a little preview of what we'll be doing today. Um, the presentation pro is, is, we're not planning on having it take up the whole hour. Um, we will be taking questions along the way. So if something pops up um, while I'm discussing one of the slides, feel free to type it in to the chat box. Um, and, that's, and then I'll be sure to answer your questions at the end. Um, so let's just get right into it. So the first step to energy efficiency is getting your no-cost energy visit. And this applies to renters, homeowners, landlords. Every, every resident in Boston qualifies. Um, Renew Boston specifically connects residents to the Mass Save program. And we focus on one to four unit buildings. If you're tuning in and you, ha and you live in an apartment with five, uh, five or more units in the single building, um, there are still mass save programs in place, but your, um, but the program and the rebates that I'm going to talk about are going to be a little bit different. So you want to visit Mass Save's website, and I'm going to be talking about that a little more at the end of the presentation. But your no-cost energy uh, visit is the essential first step to energy efficiency. So what's included in the no-cost energy visit? Um, there's, you'll get a bunch of free energy uh, or no-cost energy saving products um, right on the spot during the visit. So during the visit, you'll get a, a certified energy specialist from Mass Save, which is a state-funded uh, program, and they will provide you with a variety of energy efficiency measures. So first and foremost, um, you'll have all your incandescent light bulbs replaced with energy efficient LED light bulbs. Um, these are much more safe for the environment. They're also going to save you about $10 per bulb per year. So if you have a, um, you know, a large abundance of incandescent light bulbs, then you can see some immediate savings right off the bat by switching to LEDs. Um, LEDs also can last anywhere between 15 and 40 years. So you're not going to be replacing these nearly as much as you would with an incandescent bulb, which burns out um, rather quickly. So you'll also get savings in having to replace your light bulbs a lot less. Um, you'll also be getting a low flow shower head installed on your shower, um, as well as faucet aerators. And these are designed to help you save on water and also improve the consistency of your water flow within your shower and faucets. Additionally, you'll also get advanced power strips, um, so you won't be drawing phantom electricity for example, um, you know, if you have your if you have your TV plugged into a wall outlet without a advanced power strip, then even when your TV's off and you're overnight, um, you know, whether you're sleeping or you're just out of your home, that TV is going to be sucking out electricity from that wall outlet. So what the power strips do is they can um, determine whether your you know your TV or other electrical appliances are shut off. And it can actually cut out electricity um, between that appliance and the um, wall outlet. So you'll, you won't be doing those phantom electricity uh, draws anymore. And lastly, you'll be getting a programmable thermostat, which is super useful um, in the winter and summer months because you can customize your heating system or cooling system to your schedule. So say you work from 9 to 5 and you leave your house at 8.30 every day and you come home at 5.30 um, and it's in the middle of winter and you like coming home to a nice comfortable house and um, you also don't want to shut off your heating system because then your pipes will freeze so you might need to leave your heating system 68 all day and then you're being heated there and you're using it at a very high utility bill so what the program with thermostat will allow you to do you know at you can set it up so Monday Friday at around 35, it goes from the normal 70 or 60 degrees, which is what we recommend down to say around 
on C8 or so. Um, so that your house is going to be, it'll be staying relatively warm, but you won't be cranking your heater slide on, and you can stay up to 68 um, around 515. Excuse me, we're having some uh, difficulties changing the slide. Okay, so I think we're back. Really sorry about that. Um, yeah, just some technical problems with the connection and the, um, the PowerPoint. So, where was I? Um, I think I was just finishing up on the no-cost um, incentives that you get during your no-cost energy visit. So, just to recap really quick, um, the, no, the energy visit comes at absolutely no cost. It's through a MassSave state certified energy specialist. And in that home visit, you will right off the bat um, have these products installed, um, a programmable thermostat, LED light bulbs, low flow shower heads, and advanced power strips. And again, those are at absolutely no cost to the occupant. And this is eligible for homeowners, renters, or landlords. Um, so during the no-cost energy assessment, um, the certified energy specialist will assess what products need to be installed. Um, in addition to those no-cost products, they'll also provide you with a custom energy report at the end of the visit. So this is a report that's super useful, um, especially if you're not too familiar with how you use your energy. It's a great um, tool to learn from. You'll be able to get a custom energy report customized to your exact home or apartment, um, and it'll include tips, um, you know, whether they're behavioral or larger, um, about how you can reduce your monthly bills. Um, if you're a renter, we do cater to renters. Um, and if you would like, we can follow up with your landlord for additional improvements that may be out of your control. Um, if the state certified energy specialist identifies that you might need insulation or, you know, a heating system upgrade, uh, we can follow up with your landlord. And I'll get into that a little bit more um, later. So those were the, um, that's the foundation of the program, the no-cost home energy visit, um, and you'll get those no-cost products, and that's a great way to um, start getting your feet wet in the complex world of energy efficiency. Um, so now I'm gonna get into the more, uh, the larger products. Um, the upgrades where you're going to see some really significant money saving. Um, so this is going to be insulation and heating system replacements. Um, and yeah, these are these are where if your home's an inefficient home, um, you know, there's some great incentives put in place for you. Hold on, we're gonna pause really quick again. I'm sorry, we're gonna have some, make sure that our, our technical issues are all solved.
Okay, really sorry about these uh, these technical issues. We, we're having some trouble with the connection, but I think we're all good again. Um, so I just want to get everyone caught up on insulation, which is designed to improve the comfort in your living space. Um, this is kind of like the winter jacket and windbreaker. Um, you know, if you go outside in the winter, you might have a fleece sweater on, but the wind can still penetrate you. Um, the, so you'd want to get a windbreaker in that way. You know, the sweater keeps you warm and the windbreaker also prevents any wind from penetrating through you. So that's a really good um, way to describe what insulation can do to your home or apartment building. So there's a variety of discounts on insulation services. And really quick, I just want to discuss what the difference is between a discount and a rebate. So later on in the presentation, we're going to be discussing rebates on heating system upgrades as well as appliances and whatnot. Um, the difference between a discount and a rebate is that discounts are applied to the upfront cost, whereas rebates are not. So um, if you have, if there's a product that's $100 and you get a 90% discount, then you're only going to be paying $10 upfront. But if you have a product that's $100 and you get a 90% um, rebate, that means that you need to put down that $100 and then um, send in your receipt and a week or so later you get a $90 check um, and it's kind of like a credit. Um, so insulation is a discount um, with mass save. So homeowners qualify if you, if you need, an, if uh, it's identified that you need insulation during your energy visit, um, you can have a mass save specialist come back to your home at some point in the future and you qualify for a 75% discount up to $2,000 of insulation work. Um, landlords, you qualify for 90% off up to $3,000 per unit if all of your units are weatherized. So if you own a three unit building and each one of those units um, is getting insulation, then you get 90% off up to $3,000 for each unit. So that's up to $9,000 of work that can be done um, and you'll get a 9% discount on that. And in addition to the insulation, um, you'll also get free air sealing. So any air leaks will be plugged up. Um, they'll make sure your ventilation's working properly. And this is really great for those brutal um, winter months because your home will be able to retain heat and you'll be running your heating system a lot less because that heat will stay trapped in your home. It's also really effective for the summer months with air conditioning. Um, you know, you won't even, there, if you have good insulation, then you may not even need to run your air conditioning in the summer because you can simply keep your apartment cool through, um, you know, cross ventilation by opening windows and using ceiling fans and your home will be able to trap in that, that cool air. So insulation's a really essential step to energy efficiency. And this is where you cut down on those drafts um, the maintenance costs because when you let the outside elements into your home, that's when your home's going to have some problems. Um, renters, you're not necessarily in control of your of the insulation in your apartment. That's more of a landlord um, project. But what we can do is during your visit, in addition to the no cost um, incentives, we can assess if insulation does need to be installed. And if we do determine that insulation needs to be installed, then we can reach out to your landlord and um, let him or her know. And as always, financing with the 0% interest heat loan, I'm going to get into that a little later. So now we're into the third step, heating and hot water rebates. Um, the reason why this is step three and insulation is step two is because you always wanna make sure your home is properly insulated before you buy a heating system. Because if you get your insulation, um, then you might not need as as large of a heating system to heat or cool uh, to heat your home because your home will be able to better trap in heat. So that's why it's always important to get your insulation looked at um, before upgrading your heating system. And just a note, um, these are rebates uh, and um, they're not discounts. So you'll be putting the money down up front and then receiving a rebate in the mail. And we only offer rebates for upgrading and not fuel switching. If you're interested in fuel switching, then you want to reach out to your utility company. 
So the heating, the heating system program is a little complex um, because it all depends on what your current heating system is and what you're upgrading to. So the rebates really vary greatly. Um, if you have a very old heating system want to upgrade to something new, you're going to see a lot larger of a rebate there than if you have you know, an average-sized um, system and you're upgrading it to you know, something a little less high-tech. Um, but as always, the first step is scheduling a no-cost um, energy visit. And when you do that, a certified energy specialist will be able to provide you with the exact rebate that you qualify for with all necessary paperwork. Um, so if you're interested in upgrading your he heating system, but you, you know, you're a little confused about what rebates you qualify for, um, you want to schedule your no-cost energy visit. Um, just scheduling your no-cost energy visit doesn't mean you need to upgrade your heating system or install insulation, um, but you'll be able to be provided with all of that necessary information. And again, financing is available with the 0% interest heat loan. So there's two types of um, rebate programs for heating system. This is the basic rebate program, and I'm going to be hopping between this slide and the next slide. Um, so if you have oil or propane, you qualify for rebates up to seven, uh, around $1,750. Um, if you have natural gas, $1,600. And if you heat with electric, then there's a wide variety of rebates available. Um, for you know electric water heaters or air source heat pumps um, which are a really great way to heat and cool your home because you can customize the rooms that are being heated or uh, cooled with air source heat pumps and I'm going to be getting into that a little later as well. So if you have a very old heating system then you qualify for the early heating equipment replacement rebate program. And I know that's a mouthful, but it's a really great program. Um, if, you, if you heat with a boiler and it's over 30 years old, then you qualify for up to $3,500 of rebates. If you heat with a furnace and it's over 12 years old, then you qualify for rebates up to $1,500. And they must be in working order in order to qualify. So I'm just going to go back to the previous slide really quick. Um, so say you have a boiler that's under 30 years old then these are the rebates that you qualify for. These are the maximum rebates that you qualify for. But if your um, boiler is over, over 30 years old, then you can get up to $3,500, which is a really great program. Um, it's, it's very, very helpful that once your boiler or furnace reaches these age limits to get a home energy assessment and see what, what the upgrading options are because you could be in line for some big savings there. So the last step in the Renew Boston program is financing. So how are you going to finance the insulation work, the heating system upgrades? Um, MassSave does provide some, some financial help through a 0% interest heat loan. And the 0% interest heat loan is exactly what it sounds like. It's a loan that is 0% interest. And it, it's just like any other loan. Um, there's a seven-year term where you can borrow up to $25,000, and that was recently expanded to $50,000 if you're interested in doing some exterior insulation, um, so like in the picture on the right. Um, but it's a 0% interest loan. It's a standard loan application that you need to apply for and be approved for. And in order to receive this loan, you must have your home energy visit. So the, as always, the first step is to have that home energy visit, and then you can qualify for all of these programs and loans and rebates. So what upgrades can you use the heat loan for? So as I said earlier, um, everything that I previously discussed, <clears throat> so heating system replacement, insulation, you can use the heat loan for. Also, um, domestic and solar hot water. If you're interested in those programs, or if you're interested in those upgrades, then you can also use the heat loan to apply to those projects. Um, central air conditioning and heat pumps as well. So um, I'm going to take this time to discuss what a heat pump is. Um, it allows you to, to customize the heating and cooling in your home um, to the exact room. So if you're spending most of your time in your living room and you're never going into, you know, say you have a guest room, um, you can install a heat pump 
in your living room and um, that way you won't need to heat your whole house you can just heat that individual room so that's a really great way to save on your heating and cooling bills and heat pumps also do air conditioning as well and if you use electric heating then heat pumps are definitely something that you want to consider um, in addition to um, you know heat pumps you can also use the heat loan to upgrade your windows if you're going from a single pane window to a double pane window um, if you already have double pane windows installed and you want to go to a more efficient double pane window then you do not qualify um, to use the funds from the heat loan to do these upgrades the heat loan is only for single pane to double pane um, projects so in, ad in addition, if you want to do some pre-upgrade projects such as removing knob and tube electrical wiring or asbestos, then you can also use the heat loan um, to finance those projects as well. So now I'm just going to give a brief overview of the um, program. So homeowners, renters, landlords, they all qualify for the no-cost energy um, visit and its products. Um, if you're a landlord, something that's really great about this program is that you can get all your units uh, serviced in one visit. So if you're a landlord that has a four-unit building, then you can get the energy assessment for the entire building right then. And all of your renters will be outfitted with the LED light bulbs, wall flow shower heads, um, et cetera, those free incentives that, or those no-cost incentives that I discussed earlier. Um, in addition, all homeowners, renters, and landlords will receive a custom energy report with tips on how you can reduce your monthly bills. For installation on a 75 to 90 percent discount, renters, we would need to uh, determine if insulation is needed and then follow up with your renters or follow up with your landlord. Homeowners, you would qualify for a 75 percent discount up to $2,000 of insulation. And landlords, um, you qualify for a 90 percent discount on up to $3,000 of insulation um, for each unit. Um, lastly, heating system rebates up to $3,500 as discussed earlier. Renters will be following up with your landlord on that. Homeowners and landlords, um, you qualify for these rebates. So if you hear this presentation and you're interested, um, where do you go for help? <clears throat> so. You know, I, I just threw a lot of information at you um, over the last 30 minutes. Um, and you might not necessarily be ready to commit to some projects yet, but this is just, you know, getting your feet wet and whatnot. Um, and you're interested in hearing more or you want some help or some more information, where can you go? So the answer is you can come right to us at Renew Boston. Um, so Renew Boston is the City of Boston's one-stop shop for residential energy efficiency resources. And we are a program um, that's operated through the City of Boston. Um, we work in City Hall in downtown Boston. Um, you heard me talk about Mass Save a lot during this presentation. So Renew Boston and the City of Boston is partnered with Mass Save, and that's the um, organization responsible for doing the energy visits and they operate all over Massachusetts. Um, Renew Boston's also partnered with the local utility companies, Eversource and National Grid, and we also partner with ABCD for income eligible programs in the Boston Home Center for Home Repairs, and as well as additional um, incentives for senior citizens, which I will be getting into now. So Renew Boston's very close partners with ABCD, so if you are, um, interested in income eligible programs, you might not qualify for the Mass Save program, but that's totally fine because we can, uh, we have a lot of friends at ABCD and we work with them very closely and we can send you right over to them directly. So what ABCD actually offers is um, they offer the no cost energy visit just like um, I discussed earlier, but instead of, you know, 75 to 90% discounts on, in, on insulation or you know, rebates on upgrading heating systems, they'll actually do those upgrades at no cost. So if you're an income eligible participant and you're interested in energy efficiency, you should definitely consult ABCD because they can do your insulation and heating system upgrades for no cost. And their number, all of these organizations' numbers are um, included at the bottom. Um, once this presentation is done 
it'll stay up on YouTube. So you, if, you, if you're interested in calling later, you can just fast forward to this part of the presentation and you can give them a call. Um, the Boston Home Center also offers a lot of programs for first time home buyers or current homeowners as well as senior citizens. Um, they do home repairs and offer rebates for um, home upgrades or if you have something like lead paint in your home, they'll offer you a rebate to remove that. And they also do heating system upgrades, um, enhanced upgrades for senior citizens as well. And lastly, we, we also work very closely with the Massachusetts Clean Energy Center. Um, which is um, they cater to everyone in Boston or everyone in Boston and Massachusetts as a whole. And if you're interested in solar energy, this is the organization that you want to consult because um, you know going solar can be it's a big process, and they provide you with a how-to guide, a very detailed step-by-step -step guide for how to go solar. Um, they also will give you a breakdown of all the economic benefits and tax incentives that you qualify for. As well, as well as the environmental benefits as well. So really quick, I just want to give you um, a few testimonials that the Renew Boston program has. We've catered to over 40,000 um, homeowners, renters, and landlords in Boston since this program has started uh, back in 2009. And Patricia from East Boston is a really great example of how you can utilize the Renew Boston program to your advantage. Um, she was the owner of a two-family home in East Boston, and after she had a very leaky home, um, she needed insulation installed, and she couldn't have been happier after because she was cranking her heating system um, throughout, throughout the winter, and she just couldn't stay warm. And after the Renew Boston program, it cut her utility bills in half, and she was also you know, making her home much more comfortable in the process. So. That is why Renew Boston is here. We are here to help Boston residents stay safe and stay comfortable in these extreme weather events and also to help you save some money to um, you know, make Boston an affordable city. So what can you do now if you're interested in signing up? Um, the next step will be signing up for an energy visit and start your savings. And to do this, you can either visit our website, boston.gov slash renew dash Boston and you can use our online sign-up form here. Or if you would like, you can directly call MassSave at 617-635-7283. And again, um, this presentation is going to be put up on YouTube after it's done. And if you're interested in signing up when you get home or if you just aren't available right now, you can just fast forward to this part of the presentation and um, visit our website or call MassSave directly and you can get started with your savings today. So I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. Um, now I'll be answering some questions, if there are any. Um, it looks like we might have a few. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, and now we're going to take it on to the questions. So we got a question from Emily asking if she should turn her AC off when she goes to work. Um, in all situations, you know, whether it's a window air conditioning unit or central AC, um, if no one's home during the summer and, you know, the AC is definitely something that draws a lot of energy. So if you're using a window air conditioning unit, definitely recommend shutting it off. Um, if you have central AC, um, then definitely, definitely something that you want to consider shutting off. It's a little different than the heating systems. Um, you know, in the winter, you might want to be running your heating system at a low temperature when you're not home just to prevent um, pipes from freezing and whatnot. But in the summer, you don't necessarily need to worry about that. Um, so yeah, you should definitely be, be, be um, careful about leaving your AC on because you could see some high utility bills there. So we've also received a follow-up question on MassSave offering any rebates on air conditioning. So as I, I was discussing mostly heating systems um, today, but MassSave also does offer a um, little bit of a variety for air conditioning as well. So MassSave offers rebates up to $500 for residential electric customers for installing high energy air conditioning um, systems or central heat pumps. 
So um, I discussed heat pumps earlier. Um, MassSafe offers, you know, heat pumps also do air conditioning as well. Um, so you qualify for some incentives there if you're just interested in upgrading your central air conditioning unit or if you're interested in installing these heat pumps. Um, that's definitely something that you would want to discuss during your energy visit um, right away with the MassSave representative. If you're interested in a mini split heat pump, which also does AC, MassSave offers rebates up to um, $300 there. And if you have a air conditioning system that's over 12 years old, MassSave can increase those rebates to upwards of $1,000. So some really great rebates um, for air conditioning as well. So another question that we just received is, um, I had an energy assessment done five years ago. Am I allowed to do it again? And the answer, the short answer to this question is yes. Um, we encourage residents every couple of years to call Mass Save and schedule a new home energy visit. Um, your apartment or, or home can change dramatically um, over the course of five years. And it's always good to have somebody from Mass Save coming in, um, making sure that your light bulbs are up to date, that your insulation is still working really strong, um, and that your heating system hasn't malfunctioned. So yes, you do qualify. Um, something that I think it's important to reiterate is that this is an absolutely no obligation program. So when you do have your no cost home energy visit, if you don't want, you don't need to get the light bulbs, the power strips, or the low flow shower heads or the programmable thermostat. You can simply just get that custom energy report and you know better understand your utility bill. Um, likewise, having the no cost energy assessment also doesn't mean that you need to commit to any insulation or heating system upgrades at all. All the energy specialists will do is let you know if you need insulation and um, what rebates or discounts um, apply for your property. Uh, likewise, with heating systems, they're not gonna, you don't need to commit to upgrading your heating system. The Mass Safe specialist will just let you know exactly what rebates you qualify for. Um, so that means that if you get your assessment today and you know you can think on it for as long as you need, if six months go by and you decide that you do want to pursue insulation work um, as it starts getting colder, then you can reach out to MassSave and because you only had your assessment six months earlier, you won't need to schedule a new one. They can just pull up your file right then and there and uh, get you started with the insulation or heating system work. Um, if you'd like, if a few years go by, you can have them come in and you know do another visit to make sure everything's all good, and um, then you can get started with, with the programs from there. So we received another question asking if um, MassSave offers rebates for appliances, and if so, what are those? Um, yes, MassSave does offer rebates for appliances. Um, they offer rebates for, for a wide, wide variety of, of appliances, so I'm just going to rattle off a few right now. For clothes washers, you can get up to a $400 rebate. For clothes dryers, you can get up to a $50 rebate. And they also offer um, additional rebates.